Hey everyone, welcome to PC Perspective. During our test installation of the new SteamOS that was just released last night, uh, we actually ran across a problem that I believe many of you will as well. And we thought we'd go ahead and show you what the fix is. This actually comes into play when the installer, the quick installer, tries to install instead of to the hard drive or SSD in your system, and instead actually tries to write to your thumb drive. So let's go ahead and walk through what that process is. After you've booted from the thumb drive, you'll actually get this first page of the SteamOS installer. Most of the time you would go ahead and click the automated installation method. And that's what we did the first time we ran it as well. The issue comes up when it actually tries to partition the disk. So you can see here that there's an error informing the kernel belt modifications to partition slash dev slash SDA to the device is busy. And what actually happened here is that it tried to install to the USB drive itself rather than to the SSD that we have in our EVGA based system. Now unfortunately the fix for this means that you need to cancel out of the installation, turn off the system, um, pull out the thumb drive and run an operation on that in either Windows or on your Mac or something like that. So take your USB drive back out of the system you're trying to install it in and open up computer management. It's a little bit harder to find in Windows 8, but it's under your administrative tools. And what you'll see here is if you find your USB drive, it has several partitions created on it. Now these weren't supposed to be created. This was the mistake that the uh, SteamOS installer actually had. But what's unfortunate is that if you look at these four partitions, uh, they're actually, Disk Manager is not able to delete the volume. So you have to use a different utility in Windows to do it. So what you should do is open up a command prompt and start an application called disk part. And this is actually a disk partitioning system and it will help you uh, locate the disks and partitions on your PC. So first run the command list disk and this will give you uh, an indication of all the drives that are on your system. Clearly here disk zero is our operating system drive. It's got 238 gigs and disk one is actually the USB thumb drive we have attached at just 3.8 gigs. If you have other hard drives attached, you should be careful uh, that you're selecting the right one here. So now the next step is to actually select the disk that you want to use and to do work on. So we're going to select disk one. Now that disk one is selected, you may want to go ahead and do a list partition command, which will show you all the partitions on that drive. So you can, again, double check that you're using the right piece of hardware. So you can see here, these four match up with what our computer management was, uh, was showing. And the next command we're gonna run is clean. Now you wanna be careful with this because this will just basically blow away the entire disk. So make sure you're doing this on the right drive. So it says it succeeded, so we're gonna go ahead and list partition one more time, and it says there are no partitions on this disk. And if you go back to uh, the computer management window and do a refresh, now you can see that the USB drive is showing as a four gig unallocated disk, which is exactly what you want. And, and now the next step is actually to create another simple volume on it uh, and actually copy the Steam installation files back to it. So once you've done that, then you restart the process of installation and we'll run you through the steps that you have to do to actually make sure that that problem doesn't happen again. After putting the drive back into your system and booting up, instead of picking the automated install, this time pick expert install. And the setup process is going, this is actually not, we're not going to go through the setup process here. This is more of a, uh, we'll call it an informational adventure. We want to find out what uh, label the installer has assigned to your actual hard drive that you wanted installed. So we don't have the same problem that we did with the USB drive before. Uh, so what you want to do here is you want to go down to load installer components from the CD. It's going to do a similar couple of steps that it did the first time we tried to install it, but it's not going to overwrite your thumb drive at the time. All right, so it says it's been found. So if your mouse works, go ahead and down here and click continue. Now there's a list of modules here, um, and chances are you don't have to install all of them. It's pretty likely you don't have to install all of them, um, but just for ease of use, we just went ahead and and go ahead and scroll through here all of them and select them all uh, and go ahead and hit continue again. Again, that's probably overdoing it on what is actually necessary to get to the steps we need to get to, but this way it was just easier for us to verify that the, uh, the solution here was going to work. 
Now, now you've got a whole bunch more options. What we're going to go down here is we're going to tell it to go ahead and detect the disks. And it will do that. It's kind of searching through all the different USB and SATA connections in your system to see what hardware is available. Now, this comes up for us here. Uh, since we're not actually doing the installation, I'm going to go ahead and select no, don't load any of that firmware. We'll hit continue again. It'll actually bring us back to that menu. Now, the next step is to partition disks. We'll go ahead and click that and select manual. Now, once we get to this screen, you'll see two drives. One of them is labeled SDA and one of them is SD. B. And if you look here, the 4 gig generic flash disk, disk, that is our installer, SDA, and SDB is listed as our 160 gig SSD that we happen to have uh, here for our installation. So SDB is what you want to install to. So the error we had before for SDA was what the problem was. So remember SDB instead of SDA. And then what you can go ahead and do here is you can actually just turn off the system. And uh, what we'll do is we'll take that USB drive back out, put it back into our working PC, and we have to modify one file, and then we'll be done. So with the drive back into a working system, the file you want to edit is actually default.press. So we're going to go ahead and edit that in our Notepad++ app. And once you do that, you're going to scroll down and you're looking for a section called partition information. Partitioning, here it is down here. And the line you want to edit is actually the one here, D-I Partman Auto Disk String Dev SDA. So for some reason, for whatever reason in this initial version of SteamOS, it's actually hard coding SDA instead of kind of letting you select which one. So we're just going to change that to SDB, save the file, and that's all you have to do. We we'll take that thumb drive back out of the system and put it back into our rig that we're going to install SteamOS on. You can go ahead and do the automatic quick installation and it will automatically install to the correct drive in that instance. So that's how you fix the error if you're having an SDA kind of uh, uh, read error bug with your SteamOS installation. Uh, check back at PCPro.com. We have more content on SteamOS going through the entire installation process and setup and, and how it works thus far. Thanks.